Hey guys, Miss Haynes here to explain today's project, the sound wave portrait. Now, do you remember when we took this picture last time? We had our mouth open. Well, today we are going to make sound waves coming out of your mouth. So, the first step of the project is you will take your paper, you will take your scissors, and you will cut yourself out carefully so you do not cut anything off. Cut around your mouth, cut around your nose as close to yourself as you can. But again, be careful not to cut anything off because can you imagine how silly it would look if you did not have any hair or if you did not have a nose? We are cutting off all this extra white space. This is trash, we don't need that. We need you, oh, well except for that line there. We do not need that, so we can cut that off as well. And that is trash. Now we have a beautiful you, and you will get a new piece of paper. Ooh, nice and big, and always, the first thing we do on our paper is write your name. Now make sure that you turn your paper over so your name is on the back. So we will have all this space for our sound waves. You will take yourself, you will take your glue, and you are actually going to rub the glue on your head, not actually on the paper, because the glue is clear, the glue is white. We cannot really see the glue, so if you put the glue on your paper, well then we won't know exactly where to put your head. So put the glue on your head, flip your head over, and now we will place your head on the paper. We don't want our head to be flying in the sky because that's kind of weird. So we want the bottom of our head to match the bottom of our paper. But I don't want it right here because that's not going to leave a lot of room for sound waves. I don't want it here. I want it all the way back here in the corner. I rub, rub, rub nice and smooth. Now I'm ready to fill all this space with sound waves. You will pick a marker and you will begin to draw a sound wave. Now sound waves do not come out of our eyeballs. Sound waves do not come out of our nose. Sound waves come out of our mouth. So your marker will start at your mouth and you can draw your sound wave. You can even add some spooky sounds if you want. Ooh, it's just more fun like that. Now. A new line means a new marker, so I put that back. I'm going to take my purple marker and I'm going to make a new sound wave. Oh, that's just so much fun. And this is what you are going to continue to do. A new line, a new color. Oh, that was a crazy one. Remember, we want to fill all of the white space, even the space that's around your head. So that means that the sound waves coming out of your mouth, some of them you're gonna have to turn. Some of them are gonna have to go backwards. Ooh. Now you are gonna continue and continue and continue until your entire paper is full. Ta-da! Everyone say, ooh, oh. Boys and girls, I filled up my entire paper. I squished as many lines as I could on my white space. Now, if you make gigantic lines, then you will only have room for two or three. We want to squeeze as many lines as we can. Now, you can make Larry lines, you can make up brand new lines, and remember, you can even make your sounds as you're making your lines. Have fun with it, guys. 